Good morning, welcome back. I have today off, it's Monday. So I'm gonna start off the vlog here and today I'm gonna kind of use it as like a reset day since it's Monday, but it can kind of be like Sunday because there's no work today. So I just wanna do a couple things around the house. I know I wanna do like a grocery delivery order, laundry, clean up a bit. I wanna make a soup later and I wanna just like read my book and relax today too. So let's get to it, let's get started because I did sleep in this morning. So I wanna be able to get all my stuff done and then have some time to chill. First things first, I'm gonna make a matcha. I actually saw this recipe on Instagram and it's a cereal milk matcha latte. So I have my little peak matcha powder and then I actually just have almond milk on hand and then Fruit Loops. So we'll see. Popping in here to say thank you to Oak Essentials for sponsoring today's video. If you know me, you know how much I love this brand. I put some of my friends on and I've even put my mom on, which is a true testament to how great of a product this is because, sorry mom, but like she's been perfecting her skincare routine, her makeup products, all that kind of stuff for years and years and years. She's not just like gonna switch it up for any old product. It's gotta be really worth it. And so that is just like a true testament to how great of a product this is. And that's the Moisture Rich Balm. If you're consistent with this product, you're gonna see results results like you've never seen before. As someone with super dry skin, this has truly changed my skin. I'm going on a year of using this product. So this is a nutrient-rich balm. It's just the perfect blend of ingredients to deliver serious hydration, promote and renew collagen production, fight free radical damage, and slow down the aging process. So really everything that you'd ever want in a skincare product in general. A little bit goes a long way with this. So for daytime, I use just a tiny bit, and then at night, I really lather this on for like the true definition of beauty sleep. I'm a obsessed clearly you will not be disappointed we're all becoming so educated on the products and the ingredients that we're putting in our skin and we're giving each other like the real tea on these products i would not be working with a company time and time again or writing for them this hard if i wasn't truly truly in love and i love everything about their company and all their products i use so many oak essentials products but this moisture rich balm is my absolute favorite so i always tell you guys about it and this is what i put everybody else on so do yourself a favor get it for yourself get it for a friend or mother's day is coming up it's a great gift for your mom and listen to this my followers get 15% off their first order and a free organic honey-based restorative mask with their first order at oak essentials using my code brookditis15 at checkout that's 15% off plus a free gift at checkout when you go to oakessentials.com and use my code brookditis15 everything will be linked in the description for you guys treat yourself you deserve it I'm out of work, it's like 5.30 now, and I just ran to Sephora. It's so rainy today, and there's actually like flood warnings. I don't really know what that means, like in this kind of area, like what is a flood warning? But it's my mom's birthday on Saturday, and so I ordered her a few things. 
Oh yay, they gave me some samples. And then I also got something for myself, of course, because I have no self-control. But I got her the Dior Lip Glow Oil. She actually already has this. One of her friends gifted this to her, I feel like maybe last Christmas or her birthday last year or something, but she's almost out. And I saw it when I was over at her house eating dinner last week. And I took a picture of the color and I was like, I should replenish this for her because it's like 40 bucks. And we all know like as girls, how annoying it is to like replenish your makeup when you finish and so i think it's like such a good gift like their favorite lip gloss or like expensive foundation or mascara whatever it is i think that's like the best because you know they like love it and are going to use it and it's one of those like things that's really annoying to buy so this is what it looks like i really want to try it but i think that would be rude even though she wouldn't care but this is in the shade mahogany and then for myself i'm so excited so i've never had any like bronzing glow drops or whatever they're called i know there was like one brand that was really popular that like I think all my friends have but Isle of Paradise came out with their own sunny serum it's called and I use the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops for my face and I love them and I saw that this they came out with this like my one critique is like I really don't like this like <laughs> applicator or like pump like I think it's awkward I guess it's actually really convenient and useful but but the packaging's adorable i'm really excited to use this i have makeup on or else i'd put it on right now i'll have to try this tomorrow what's the brand that's really popular i literally have no idea but this was actually cheaper than the dior lip oil isn't that funny it's such a rainy cold day i'm gonna make a soup tonight Ooh, and watch vanderpump vanderpump came out last night right doesn't it come out on mondays I feel like I get this wrong every single week. I always think it's the day before it actually is. But I'm watching Vanderpump, Summer House, and The Valley right now. Let me know if you are too. I'm just obsessed and Brody watches them with me too. Don't tell anyone, but he loves them too. Happy Friday. It has been a week, let me tell you. The worst headache, and I think it has to be correlated with this consistent five days straight of rainy, crappy weather. I feel like whenever it's super rainy like that consistently, like something with the air pressure like causes me to get headaches, or is that just like made up? Regardless, I have the headache, not sure why. But it's just a bummer because I actually had the day off of work today. I had the day off on Monday too. I'm gonna take some Advil. Basically, I just have a bunch of PTO I'm trying to use up before I hit the year mark and then it goes away So today I used it as like a little catch-up day for myself. I did little chores around the apartment I did a lot of editing paid some bills and worked on getting my taxes in order Everything that I need to to file my taxes because that time is approaching which God, it's like the worst thing in the world. I already talked about Bravo once this video, but I just can't stop. Summer House came out last night, so I'm excited to watch that tonight. I picked up some gas station candy, some snacks. Hey, that's my sweater. We got chocolate covered pretzels, Reese's Take 5, and a Butterfinger. Don't ask me why I got the Butterfinger. I probably haven't had one since I was like 10 years old, and I swear I've only had a few in my life. Honestly, it's like back when I was like trick or treating, I feel like you'd get Butterfingers a lot, and I liked them. It's just weird, like honestly, this little 
candy chocolate more specifically craving is very weird because I'm not a chocolate girl. I'm a vanilla girl and I'm like a sour candy sweets girl. I never crave chocolate. It's very rare. I am supposed to be getting my period so it could be something to do with that. I feel like that's usually when I start to crave chocolate and it's not. Often it's like every couple months but I do really enjoy it <laughs> like when I'm in the mood for it like this. I need to eat dinner though. I already dipped into the chocolate covered pretzels earlier and now that I just took them back out I'm like ready to go dive in and like throw on a movie or something but I actually have some laundry I need to fold I need to eat dinner before I eat this candy and like start chilling for the night and I'm dying to watch summer house Brody's actually gonna be working a little bit late tonight it's already almost six okay let's feed bogey stay stay just gave me my early birthday present and I'm so excited. It has like little rhinestones. It's like one of their little stackable ones. So cute. And then she went crazy and she got me a Skims sweat set. I, I, owe you. I literally can't believe that you got me this. I thought you knew. No, oh, I had no idea. I guess I should have like realized with the bag, but. The say this. gray crew neck. I did actually some up there now. Yeah. And then, this one, I'm so excited. It's so soft. Like wide leg sweatpants. I love you. I love you too. So sweet. I was so excited to give it to you. I love you. I love you. You smell good. I put on some perfume. I just posted my 5 to 8 before my 8 to 5 morning routine. That was my last video. And someone commented asking for a puppy update. She was saying she has a 4 month old Cavapoo, which is the same breed of puppy that I just got. And she was saying she's kind of in the puppy blues, has the puppy blues right now. And just was asking like for an update and how everything's going. And I was like, oh, that's perfect to like throw into the week of my life. So Bogey, our puppy, is also a Cavapoo. He's almost 5 months. I think by the time, I think his birthday is like November 12th. By the time you're seeing this, I think he'll be five months old. So they're basically the same age. So we're like on the same level. All I have to say is with it being my boyfriend and I, like being able to share the responsibility is so helpful. We're able to like tag team it. Like when I'm busy or I want to clean something or I have to film something and I need to like keep him occupied. Like right now I gave him a peanut butter Kong so that he's like leaving me alone. So that's a good tip. Like fill a Kong with peanut butter, maybe like some of his food just like a couple pieces pop it in the freezer and it'll take them like three times as long as if you were to just like put it with normal peanut butter but my boyfriend and I are able to like tag team it so whenever I'm busy or want to get stuff done and not have to like wrangle and deal with him like biting at my ankles the whole time he's able to watch him and vice versa I do the same thing for him when he has something he's trying to do so having each other is like I mean it I don't know how I would be doing it alone to be honest he'd probably be getting so chunky because I'd be filling up his Kong constantly I also heard like the puppy gates are really helpful it's just like that little like circle and you could put all their toys in there and like throw them in there but I know they like bark like he barks to like get our attention and I don't know I don't know it's tough having a puppy is a lot but he's honestly doing so well his potty training knock on freaking wood I feel like we have it figured out he has an accident like honestly maybe maybe once a week now if that he's doing so good the past like two three weeks it's really changed and he really gets it we also have a bell by the door that he rings because we started whenever we took him outside we'd like ring the bell it just like is hanging from the doorknob I'll put in like a clip here and he'll go over walk over and like ring it to go outside and like sometimes Sometimes he doesn't do that and like we'll just take him out if we feel like it's been too long but that's super helpful training's also going well he can sit shake and stay and now I need to add in some new ones because he just recently mastered shake and now we we got to put in some more so that's going really well and that's been like pretty easy I mean they pick it up so fast especially as puppies and that's really helpful even in his like energy levels and like craziness because you know anytime he gets a treat he has to like kind of work for it sit and stay oh he also knows bogey come because when I give him a treat or like I make him sit and then I will like walk away and I keep saying stay 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 and then I'll say bogey come and he'll come to me 
and then I make him sit and I'll give him the treat. So now if I say bogey come, just like in random settings, he just like comes directly to me. And I always make sure right now that I have a treat if I'm ever doing that. And then like obviously after like a year, two years, whatever, and I feel like he fully trusts me and gets it. Like I won't give him a treat every time, but right now I have like literally treats in my pockets at all times because we're just in train mode. The one downside right now that he has is he barks at us like crazy while we're eating. He's getting a little bit better. We're trying to train him not to do that, but it's tough. But really everything's going good. We love him so much, but he's crazy. He's a puppy and it gets really frustrating and you have to have so much patience. Really just being consistent and doing little training and playing with him, taking him on walks and like tiring him out. We just like constantly play fetch with him down this long hallway. All of that just helps, but it's tough. And I feel you girl, it's it's a lot. A puppy is a lot, but, but eventually he won't be a puppy anymore. And I'm just trying to enjoy it all and rein in my like frustrations because he's just a baby and he just wants to play and like oh my god actually I have his tooth right here he's teething like crazy one of his like giant molars just fell out I shouldn't say giant molar because it's a puppy molar but yeah his teeth are so freaking sharp and all he wants to do is like bite us and whenever he wants to play he's like biting us and it's just a lot so yeah we just try to distract him play with him a lot tire him out I don't know but the puppy blues are freaking real and I wish we lived near each other and we could have our cavapoos play wouldn't that be so fun oh my god I need to find him some friends here because he loves other dogs but that's the puppy update. That was longer than I thought it was gonna be. But I'm gonna end off this video here. Honestly, I had such a crazy freaking week, especially with me taking off the two days. I was just so busy with work trying to finish everything up. I was just chaos at work. So I wasn't the best at vlogging. Let me know if you guys prefer full day in my life that are really like descriptive or if you like the more week in my life because I really do love filming the weeks of my life. So I'm gonna have to do these more often. And if you wanna see my five to eight before my eight to five morning routine, that was my last video. If you made it to the end, comment this emoji. I'm also going to California this weekend, so go follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram so you can see all that stuff. I'm reuniting with my college roommates and I'm so excited. Okay, I love you, bye.